Good morning, human beings of Earth. I know, I have not vlogged much in the past, like, two weeks because this floor has been taking over my life. Now, I should be done putting the actual floor in today. I'm still gonna have to paint where the, the walls chipped and, and sand down and repaint all the molding and get that tacked on. But that's, like, next weekend. I, I just wanna get the floor down. Let me show you what we got to do today. This is it. This is the biggest chunk that has to get done. I still need to glue down this board, obviously one here, and do the trimming along the wall. Because we had a little water spillage the other day, so I had to let it all dry before I can actually glue the boards down because I didn't want mold. Other than that, it's really these three other little spots. Little piece there. A little piece there and I have to finish the closet off as you can see we kind of moved some of the furniture back into place because we had to I mean it was it's so difficult to move around the house with everything crammed into two rooms in this room completely empty so now all the floorings in this room we kind of put everything back so I just have to do the caulking and the molding and a little bit of paint work and then we're 100% done and that should be done next weekend but for now we're gonna get this prepped I have to figure out one cut because flooring fit underneath this baseboard here. The problem is it's click and lock, but you need to do like a lift and click in. Can't exactly put it under here and then lift it up. I'm gonna see if I can do a little drop in and tappy tap, but if that doesn't work, I'm just gonna cut a little L in that piece, a little L in the last piece by the door and just drop the rest in. It shouldn't take too, it shouldn't take, it shouldn't take too much longer. Hopefully two to three hours and this is done. So let's just go ahead and get started. But that is the last piece for this room. I'm happy about that. Now I'm gonna put this room kind of back together so we can get Oliver's cage back in here and uh, get that out of the front room so we have most of our house back. The rest of the molding I'm gonna paint and, and do some touch-up work, but uh, we gotta fix that hole that I didn't know was there. I think I have some spray foam downstairs 
Got to put the heater back on the wall and slap the molding here and the molding here back on. And then we have to finish the closet in that little chunk in the kitchen and then the flooring is all in and then it's just finishing work. All right. I'm going to do the rest of this uh, without you just so I get it done quicker because I, I got to move along. I'm getting taking longer than I thought. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's like six to eight hours later. I turned you off and then I started doing a few things Then took a little break and then I started working again. And I just like got totally into the zone and forgot to start filming. But let me uh, let me show you what happened. So the room is done. Oliver's cage is back. Table's back. There's still trash that needs to be taken care of. Now, what I did do was put the molding, like I said, along this wall and along this wall so we can put Oliver's cage back. But I still need to put the molding here, over here, do all the caulking and everything. That still needs to get done. Also, can't see it, but there's a piece back there now. I had to glue this corner piece down because it, uh, it fits perfectly, but it pops up a little bit. Also, the, the door back and the closets done except I screwed up on the corner piece so it's a little sloppy and that was my last perfect scrap piece for that area so I just it doesn't look good but it's the closet so no one's really ever gonna see it I have one entire box left and I didn't want to waste an entire piece for the edge of the closet that was literally the second to last piece I cut and I was just anxious and I didn't think straight. What I did, I needed a three inch wide board. So I made a three inch wide board, but I made it three inches wide from the, the wrong side. So it was an inch short. So I zipped another inch, put it in there and it looks like crap, but it's the closet. So I don't care. To be honest, I just don't care. I was tired. I'm so happy to have it done. Also, it's a lot later because it's my mother-in-law's birthday and we just got back from taking her out to dinner for her birthday. Now, finishing work is all that needs to be done. I need to paint the walls where we took the molding off and it chipped. I need to, I'll show you this one, it's way better of an example. This is filthy. That's the worst piece. It's a little bit moldy because that's the piece that's directly underneath the sink. So, I mean, if any water splashes or anything, that's the piece that gets it. So I'm gonna sand that down. All of the moldings are gonna get sanded down and repainted, put back on, as well as a few of the spots like this. They're gonna have to get fixed. So I'm gonna take a piece of the tan paint, bring it to see if they can paint match it, fix a few of those spots. Once that's all on, White caulker on the top, gray caulker on the bottom. I'm gonna try to find something that matches. Also need to fill in like the spots where it's not even worth to cut like a one inch piece or a half an inch piece and gonna fill those in with gray caulk. But so incredibly happy to have this project like 85% completed. It's just finishing work, it's just painting. I'm not gonna do any of it this week. Tomorrow or maybe one day this week I'm gonna pick up the paint. But that's it. I'm not working on this at all this week. If I do anything, I'm going to work out, swim, play some music, relax, have a good time and enjoy myself. Cause I've done this for two weeks straight now. I'm tired and I need a break from it. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and sign off for the evening because I think I have earned a break. And again, I apologize for not really putting out any content in the past two weeks. Cause I've just, I've been consumed with doing this floor. But now the floor is done. So we're gonna move on. We're gonna move past the floor and move into living our lives again and find some fun things to do. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that big red button and ring that bell so you get notifications the next time I post a brand new video. Good night.